Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Salem Grand Villa 42 DL Destination Trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, show you what it's all about here. I did a video on this a couple years back, so we thought we'd do an update on it for you. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Salem Grand Villa 42 DL Destination Trailer here. I did a pretty detailed video on this a couple years ago. Not a lot changed on the floor plan wise, but a lot changed cosmetically in some of the features. So we'll kind of hit some highlights here. Um, first things up, 2023 was a complete color change for the floor, wall boards, the dinette area, um, some of your valances and things like that. The sofa pattern did kind of stay the same though. So we have freestanding dinette, four chairs, very large windows in the slide out here. And these overlook the awning side or door side area of the RV. Those windows all open. You have a manual theater seat here, completely freestanding seat. So you could replace it in the future if you need to, but it does have a storage area in the middle and some cup holders in the middle as well. The slide out floor also has kind of a vinyl or not vinyl but a woven material over it instead of carpet. They switched that up this year. They use this woven material on a lot of pontoon boats. It's a little more rugged and heavy duty easier to keep clean. Now the main subfloor is a vinyl material along with your kitchen slide out floor over there as well having vinyl on it. Trifold sofa across the back. There's an electric outlet on each side and table on each side, but this sofa will flip out, make into a bed you could sleep a couple adults on and still maneuver around back here pretty well. Now the window on each side of the sofa and the big window in the back do open, but the one up top there does not open. Pull down roller shades on all the windows in this area except the one on top. You have a 110 volt ceiling fan up there instead of a 12 volt version and a Coleman ducted AC back here as well. Now straight across from your theater seat area, you have your entertainment area there. So you have a Greystone 36 inch electric fireplace, basically a fancy electric space heater, but it does look really cool in the RV. There is a Furion sound bar right there. And then there's a little light switch to turn on and off that LED accent lighting. You have a pretty large TV here on a mount. Strap to hold it in case you are a traveling person. But if you're not traveling, then you can just unstrap it once it gets to your destination and toss it away. There's some storage above there as well. Looking over here at the island area, you have an electric outlet on each side. There's also some LED lighting around the toe kick area. You do have a really nice heavy duty stone style countertop here instead of kind of like a foil laminate that a lot of places call solid surface. Uh, but this is actually more of a real home style counter. Double bowl undermount stainless sink, high rise sprayer faucet, little strainer, great cover there. And then there's quite a bit of storage underneath of that area as well. Quite a few drawers and some storage space over here. Pretty large pantry also. The window behind the propane stove over there does open. Metal mini blind on that one. Quite a bit of storage overhead. And you have the Furion larger microwave, three burner gas stove top, and the Furion oven with the glass front it does have a light in it as well. I'm just kind of stepping back here so you can kind of see down the whole side. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money. So here we have LG residential 110 volt refrigerator, freezer on bottom, refrigerator part on top. There is some more cabinet space over here, a little counter area for maybe like a coffee bar or something, whatever you want to set up here. And then there's some controls. So you have dimmer switch for some ceiling lights, water pump if you got to use your portable water instead of city water. 
couple light switches, outdoor speaker switch, slide out in and out button. Now real quick peek up here, one of your loft areas up there. There's a little shelf back there and USB charger ports in that shelf as well. Check that out a little better when we get up the steps there. So down in the little hallway area here, you have a sliding glass door area, a little pull across curtain thing, and another window up above. That, that window does actually open. One of your AC and propane furnace controls here, some light switches, ceiling fan switch, and then there is a propane leak detector down below bathroom back here so we have a porcelain foot flush toilet quite a bit of room here for some linens and the electric water heater switch back there step in shower does have the sliding glass enclosure sit down seat ABS tub surround Again, pretty good amount of counter space and storage space here, and a large mirror. Some fan controls on the wall right there. And basically this thing has a vent that goes right on up through the roof area right there and out the top. They actually buy a special vent and some sort of like duct work to basically go up through that and out the roof since there's gonna be moisture and stuff. And you can also see there's TV hookups up there on this loft and pre-prep for the King Wi-Fi. And we have steps going up into our loft area. There is a dustpan vac and central vac hookup right here as well awning in and out button here in the hallway area. Carpet on the steps taking me up into this area. Light switch, grab handle. Another light switch here on this side. Little window on that area does open, but you could sleep one of the kids in here pretty comfortably. Now this side is not quite as tall as the other side. We're gonna spin around to the other side here and you can kind of see the difference in floor level there. It looks like probably uh, six or eight inches or so. Now here you got room for two or three kids over here pretty comfortably. Electric outlets and USB charger ports on the back shelf area back there. Another ducted AC up here. Window on each side does open. TV hookups back here and some more storage space. But a pretty good amount of room up here. And that area is all carpeted as well. And stepping down into the master bedroom, it's got kind of a drop frame on the front section. So we have a bedroom slide out, window on each side of the bed, those do open. There's reading lights up there, plus a regular light, some overhead cabinet space. Pull down roller shades here in the bedroom area. You have hanging closet, a couple drawers over here. Now this one was ordered with the washer dryer prep. So due to it having washer dryer prep, you have kind of a swing door here and that would put the washer dryer in its closet area. But when you do the washer dryer, you gotta take this door off. Um, so your washer dryer is kind of exposed into your bedroom, but that's the only way to really do it on this model. So that's what they do. So you have some shelf space and you have drain and water lines, electric outlets, all right there. Now, if you don't do the washer dryer prep, you'll get some more cabinetry that kind of looks a little like what's on the right hand side right there. The bed here does raise up, storage under the bed, a little bit of shelf space here as well. All vinyl floor in the main subfloor right here. Again, a little woven material on the slide out floor. 
very large windows in your bedroom area here as well. The middle window does open and then the one above the dresser also opens. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down there, a few electric outlets, and there's also TV hookups here, digital thermostat for the other air conditioner. And then you also have your main or secondary entry exit door. It does have a screen door and stuff as well. But overall, pretty cool destination trailer here. Now we're going to head back outside. I want to show you guys around the outside real quick and finish up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Salem Grand Villa here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, this one was ordered with the optional fiberglass exterior. So you have a white hung fiberglass with a black metal skirting around the bottom section. You have tented windows. There is a power awning with LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV adjustable arms for tilting and a manual override in the front arm head you have a little porch light above your bedroom entry door step area here double step into the bedroom area and then a triple step into the uh, living room area or kitchen area of the rv they use hover style steps on these park models the main one does have a little foot assist on it to kind of give it some more added stability. Now, a lot of people when they're buying these destination trailers block these RVs and build decks and stuff around them and tie them down. Um, so if you are gonna do something like that, just leave the steps folded up in their storage position and you won't have to really worry about them being in the way. Now, just kind of looking down below here, there is one of your tie down strap points. So you got one on each side of the front corner and then there's more on the back. And again, a lot of people are blocking these. There's an option for stabilizer jacks on these if you are going to move around and stuff. So you can opt in for that. However, if you're going to block it, no sense in wasting the money on jacks. You do have two outdoor speakers right here. There's an electric outlet and a cable outlet here. And then there is a large folding entry handle here for your main door in case you are going to just use the regular entry steps. Double axle, easy lube hubs, drum brakes if you are going to travel. It does have brakes, very important to have a brake control. And there's actually another strap right there as well. I didn't see that one when I first looked at it. Slide out is pre-prepped for sole air slide topper. So if you wanted to add a slide out awning cover over top of the room, you could do that. That helps basically repel a lot of water leaves twigs debris and things like that and it also shades the room just kind of helping keep it a little cooler now on the back you have a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end if you do the fiberglass option otherwise it's a corrugated metal aluminum big windows on the back side you seen when we were inside this is a rear living room setup so hopefully you got a nice lake view or mountainside view or something to kind of show what's going on back here the cable inlet on the back side as well for cable satellite inlet. Detachable 50 amp power cord right here. That's probably about 30 foot long cable roughly. Again, slide out prepped for solar slide topper. You also have a stove exhaust vent right there as well above the window. Now just down here, there are some dumps. So you're gonna have some gray and black dumps and stuff right here. There's also gonna be some washer dryer dumps if you do washer dryer prep and stuff up there. Furnace exhaust out right here. The 20 gallon electric water heater, which does have bypasses and things on it for winterization purposes. Black tank flush also right there. It does have a small gutter track that runs down both sides of the RV. This is the little storage compartment that's underneath your main bed area. Some really important informational data stickers with like production dates and weights and stuff like that. I kind of posted those weights and things up at the beginning of the video for you. 
And the front, when it comes in, is covered in this kind of like corrugated cardboard kind of plastic stuff. Uh, but there is three windows in here. You kind of seen that again when we were inside. Now the front is a metal, uh, whether you get fiberglass option for the siding or just go with the standard aluminum, the front is a aluminum front. So you won't get fiberglass on the front side. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, manual crank jack, two 30 pound propane tanks, and room for a battery to go back in behind here as well. But overall, really nice setup here for a large destination trailer. Uh, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos as well. Much appreciated. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up. Thanks again.